Suspect is going to have felony 40s. Be myself, 206 Metro and 920 Alameda and El Molino now. Coming up to a red light and he's going against traffic. We're breaking off. He's trying to get back out of university. He's going to try to go northbound and southbound on 10. 21 we think we have a vehicle match description down in the city um, off of Bex. Okay. Uh, we have some officers over there detailing right now. Yeah, they don't know if he, uh, he stole it or what. He was holding the guns in this. Yes. This is it. Tires all jacked up. Two tires. The 240 Sandboy Zebra. And what kind of vehicle does it come back to? Kill 94 Mazda. Mazda, some Mazda. Can I make run? Last four of the VIN, please. 9407, 9407. No. Direct. They're, uh, fictitious plates. Gotta be it. Oh. Right. What did he hit? Everybody right? My unit. Good dose, sir. I'm good. good. So what's his, what, what happened? You know. Oh, oh, so he's wanted by the feds for felon in possession. He's a suspect in a shooting in Deming, and, and then he's wanted out of us for a uh, ad code four on a uh, strangulation. They had him all day, all day. They're paying attention to him, seeing what's what, seeing what's what. See how they're going to take him down. They finally got him into the into the thing, and he went mobile. And they said, "Hey, try to take him down on a T-stop." He immediately went the wrong way of traffic. We broke off the pursuit. Uh, and that was in the middle of the city. That was, that was, that was, that was right on Alameda and like Alameda. Yeah. FBI, ATF, and Metro. We set up in the area. They follow a white SUV shows up. They stay locked in on the hotel. The Equinox shows up, starts loading stuff into there, and they go out somewhere in the county and pick him up off of Doniana Road. It looks like he dumped the vehicle out off of Doniana Road. They pick him up, and they're like, hey, only two got in there. They're following him, but there's three people in there. So they start locking him down and follow him around. He's doing heat runs in the white Equinox. They go back, and they say, 100% confirmation, it's him. He got out of the Equinox in the back seat, and he just went in. And they called out the SWAT team yeah. to see if they can do this round of call out. We're standing there, I'm talking to Bradley. Hey, dude, I'm going to have to push over. And they're like, he's going mobile. Jeez. Yeah. And they said he was messing with this. And in the meantime, he's unloading. And they said, it looks like he walked with a shotgun back into the room. And uh, they said he's putting stuff in this vehicle. I just want to know who said the wheel was falling off. Well, no, this wheel was. Or, this one's all concave. Yeah, it, it, it was. It this was one's concave, in. Yeah, it was shimmying bad. It was shimmying all over the place. So he comes out of the thing. They said, try to knock him down. We knew he was going to go into pursuit. We pull up to block him. He just goes, what? right at Bradley and then it's, he just bumper card right through us and then he spun and then he went the wrong way on Main Street until we got to I-10 and then when we got on I-10 he cut across and was going the wrong way on I-10 and I was like holy shit here we go again damn you're good okay they're saying that white equinox uh, we have 100% positive ID from the uh, gentleman here white equinox picked him up Send some units to that Hadley address. The agencies are still standing by at that uh, motel. We got he's going to be gone. And the next cop that makes, he's going to go to guns on him. I'm telling you right now. Yep. I pulled him to be up on your Patricio Fierro, this is the Las Cruces Police Department. Come out with your hands up and empty. Do it now. Occupants of 903 East Hadley, apartment A. This is the Las Cruces Police Department. Come out with your hands up and empty. Do it now. Back. Not this one here in the no, corner, the, but the, the next orange one. one. You see the door, uh, open door? Yeah. Apparently he's no, to the right. Mike the in there. In there. Uh, rifle with the rifle. Okay. On that right window area? Or? Hey, Greg, I, think, continue I think it's two separate uh, apartments, bro. Okay. A and B. Five threes on tech three. Okay, can you give 
specific announcements for anybody in front of B Boy again to dial 911. See if we can establish contact if there's anybody there. To any occupant inside of apartment B as in boy at 903 East Hadley, please dial 911. Patricio Fierro and Yamira Hernandez, we need you to exit the apartment with your hands up and empty. Do it now. We're going to do a uh, breach and hold on the back side. And then uh, kind of like a stealth probe just to eliminate it. Occupants of the, uh, the 903 East Academy, this is the Las Cruces Police Department. Hang on a second, I can't hear you. Come out with your hands up and empty. Do it now. Greg, stand by one. Contact, contact. Contact. Greg, go ahead and come up on your rifle. Where are we going, Kate? Huh? Where am I going? Not this corner house, but the next one in. It's the tan one on the left. Okay. On the left side. Driver's side's hot. On the left side. Driver's side's hot. Driver's side hot? Driver's side hot. Here, got his seat What's that? It's going to be not this corner house, but the next one in. We've got guys in the back and obviously the ones in the front. Okay. Right, We've side had two side. come out. They confirmed that he's inside. Should be a rifle as well. we got a wide open area in Adelaide and Virginia Shut for the a staging fuck. area. Oh. Let's go, Burn. You ready? Yeah, we are. Moving. Moving. Okay. Coming or staying back here? i got to cover Greg for now. 49 K9. Hey, Josh, I'll come with you. You ready? Exposure on this side. This side. What's his name? Patricio Fierro? Patricio Fierro. Patricio Fierro and anybody else inside 903 East Hadley. Step outside the front door with your yeah. hands up and nothing in them. Thank you. Greg over here to do announcements so we get Burling up front. As long as someone relieves him on his point because he's over there by himself. Got it. Does he, uh... I'll try you to respond to the campaign. Do we need a backup as perimeter point then? We have to block off that intersection, though. It's gonna hold right now, Steve. All right. Can you see up the end on anybody else? Can you step outside the front door with your hands up and empty? Do it now. Can you hear those announcements, Danny? Somebody else. I'm sorry. I got my bag right there for you guys too. 
point in most of these systems. I'm more concerned that there's nobody in D. All my stuff is in my car over here to the left. All I need is my mask. You want me to throw one up there right now and then go, uh, let you go get it real quick? Sure. to get my mask. Right. Well, let me grab the rifle. 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 Let me grab the Contact at 9 903. 
Should be on patrol one. Can you get a second? Will you turn the lights back on? Just uh, you don't have to turn the engine on, but just the light. I can do it. Corey Burling, what do you need? I just need the light on. What light? Just the power on to the, to the lights. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that, the turret is lighting up the door pretty good for us? Yeah. Yeah, it actually it is. It's doing an okay job. Yeah. 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 Better? Yes, thank you. Hang on. Don't be leaving. Just try here. You ready to come down? No, I'm good for now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Did you try this out here in the fucking heat? No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> hey. I'm staying here with the hot water. Air conditioning works in this video. Is there a camera going? Yes. Four zero the bird out front, two oh six is in the alley. Switch post to get this bank. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, hey there, buddy. Any occupant, instead of 903 East Hadley, apartment D as a boy, please dial 911. Scooch. Is that turn? Uh, Burling. Yes. Yeah, I'm alone. Three occupants, at 903 East Hadley, apartment D as an Adam. Where'd you want to come in from? Right? Back it? Okay. Am I doing it? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I don't mind. Cool. Set it down. I'll see if I can do it from here since I'm not doing anything anyway. I want to take this tail, I'll trade you. <laughs> oh no, we saw you run that at the, the demo, Burling. You couldn't even get it up a step. Oh, you're real funny. I got it, didn't I? 20 minutes in. This takes a little work, Jerry. Come on. Talking all that shit. Tape. Go the right. No, I'm going up and over this curb. Show me how to. Do you lift the front? Or four by four. Alright. Yeah, so. Send me somebody important back here so I can tell them what's going on. As soon as you go in, it's a bedroom. There's like a queen size bed on the left. To give me something to scribble with, I'll do it. I should have a pen and a notepad in my vest right there, too. Right, okay. Where are you going? Bank T, you said? From the west. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. I got a pen. I wonder where my notebook went. I'm going to start up the Bearcat. All right. It's just a bedroom tape right now? Yeah, it's, it's a weird layout, but it's just a bedroom. 
What I'm wanting to see, Tate, is there anything to indicate that he went into no. B? You want me to just cruise through there real quick as far as I can? Okay, I want you to just see what we can do. If we need the extender, I think we've got the extender here. If you need that. Under the bed is clear. Extender. That first step is so tall, it just can't yeah. grab it. It's like an RV. That's all it is. Everything in this place is like homemade and slapped together. So if anything, we'll do like you said, we'll leave this here as a sentry to watch the door in case he's coming towards the front. Don't 
dog is so weird. He just wants attention. He's like my wife. <laughs> Where's Josh? Hey, Josh. Come real quick. All right. There's the best I could do. Front door. As soon as you go in, this is a bedroom already. Full size bed, dresser, dresser. This is like a built in closet. There's a door to the right. It goes into this room. Looks like a living room. There's just a couch in here. The avatar is right here at the bottom. There's three stairs, but the first one is too tall, so no matter how you angle the feet, it can't grab it to go up in there. And it's about to lose signal anyway. I can see in through this door. There's another open door beyond that. I can't tell if it's a room or a closet. And Where's the door at? So this is a door going. So you go up the stairs and through this open door. No, this is inside. This is all inside. Where's this door and this fucking window? What door? There's a door right here on this uh, four side. That I can't see. Actually, I might know where that one is. Okay, that is a door. Looks like it goes outside. Yeah. Fourth side, back door, uh, move a little bit. It might be on the robot. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, Avatar's here, you're right, there is an exterior door here, so this is outside. Those blinds, are they up on, it's a tall window? The whole window is a tall window? We have the apartments around it, we need to come out of the apartments, put your hands up and empty. But there's no one obviously in here. I can see into the bed, there's nothing there. No one in here. And if somebody steps in front of this little fatal funnel, I'll be able to see him. I'm gonna leave the avatar right there. That's the best I could do. But well, we can't get through there and check out the rest? No, I've signal? tried. No, it's signal and then that first stair is really tall. So those little feet, when you angle them up and down, they can't grab it and, and go up in there. What else are you thinking there? Do you have anything to indicate that A and B are connected? This, I can't say for sure. I can't tell if that's a closet or another door that goes deeper. Maybe into that extension on the back where they have the trailer that's attached. Would it be, are we going to gain anything if we bring the avatar out and send it out here? Probably nothing that can't. these guys can't just send you pictures of. Do you want to throw the avatar in the booth? Or maybe they can deploy it from the back. Do they have an open door over there? Try a throw brought through a window. We need to somehow clear apartment B to make sure that we don't have a hostage situation. We are disagree. No, it's a valid concern. Before we start pumping gas and tearing it all up, if we could get in that is apartment it, B and get it. Are there any cars here? I guess my question is what do we have to see if there is a hostage? We have to go on back. You just want to check. You want to check, of course. That's what I'm asking. We're not getting any response from 903B. But we know that there's two trailers that are together. We know that this guy rammed units yesterday to get out. Let's say he's not able to just burrow through one of those. So if we exhausted before we go into B, we start causing the damage to B. But nothing to indicate or the same. Okay, there. Exhausted. It's contained. So they couldn't find a 21, right? Right. Is there any vehicle there? They have a white car in the back. That should be the uh, Chevy Equinox. So that's the one from that's the suspect vehicle, yeah. That's the only one? Yes. Just confirm that there's no other vehicles back there. Are there any other vehicles on the three or four side other than the white Chevy SUV? We might try talking to neighbors and see if they know, like, yeah, there's an old man, he doesn't have a car. A or... What about the 15? Yeah, that's a good idea. Interview and them. Kelly, 
911 maybe? Tried it in negative contact. There's tire tracks in the front like a car came up and turned around. But you guys saw him in here, right? Knocked him down and plus the 15th is confirmed he was inside. We never saw him ourselves. They had two, three sources confirmed that he was inside that came from inside and they said, yeah, he's in there. You can match it? Yeah. Are you looking at my drawing? Pass around and it does us a little bit of good, but not much. It just gives us the front two stairs. It's only three of them. Oh. It's just like... Um, so, did you give us a David? But I can't, I can't see past here. Is that up there? Brennan, you good? The uh, contact. Just, just kidding. Turn this your fucking head around. <laughs> just confirmed the area right here that you ran to the door does have blinds that run all the way to the ground. So that was probably okay. what they were seeing as the movement. Hey, they're saying those blinds run all the way to the ground. That's what he's seeing. So it might have been the movement. So earlier, would it be... Uh, wrong to say that probably something else or the air conditioner might air be conditioner or wind maybe yeah oh he's in there it's just it's the last time we were talking about seat blinds moving that's me that's kind of one all right the original information is still standing if the white part in the back which it is the male subject the only male subject should be in part of the so when he goes with that with there's just the white Chevy Equinox for the suspect. Is there any vehicle information for that now? We only have the white Chevy Equinox. Uh, there's no white, other white front back. Okay, so that white, it's a white Dodge Neon? Because you told us it's a white Chevy Equinox that's back there. White Chevy Equinox is the one that Joey saw that brought us here in the first place and confirmed that that's the suspect vehicle that he was in and out of yesterday. Right, but the vehicle that's back there is a white Dodge Neon, which uh, indicates to us that it belongs to the old man in 903B. Okay. Let me, make, let me call him. No, I'm sorry. The Equinox got stopped whenever it left. That's how they figured out that he was inside. Okay. Okay, so we think that he's in there now, right? That white the Equinox left and it's down the street. Please dial 911 away through a window. Who's the RO of an elderly? Who's the RO of an elderly? Who's the RO of an elderly? This dude over here, the guy that's giving us the... Uh, he thinks so of you. <laughs> Follows the leash up, he's like, that's not good. That's not connected to the same person. Please dial 911 or give us any sign that you're inside the apartment. 
push the key in and find out what yesterday in the pursuit and all that. Yeah, the more than likely a willing participant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going up into the turret. This thing lost signal. So as far as I can tell, we can watch it, but not move it. Good, David. And it's facing east. This? Yeah. What's facing east? The robot. They should be facing north. Uh, that way. The window, the, the blinds moved on. Okay. It's right here, and it's looking right here. So then the door is going to be right out, right here. That out. The, yeah, the outward opening or that outside door is like right here in this corner. It's about to stall. Come on down. Coming down. Contact, female. Step out! Walk towards me. Walk towards me. Turn around. Back up. 
I'll lift it. Just inside somewhere for here. Yeah. Female that was inside. Uh, you need me to pull 
this window. Yeah. You just dropped in underneath there, didn't you? Yes, I did. At least you know where it is. It's safe.